Imagine standing by a river when the water itself starts to move. Out of the murky depths rises a reptile the size of a bus, jaws wide enough to crush a dinosaur. Today we're diving into the three largest croc-like predators ever to swim and stalk our planet. And number one, it isn't even a true crocodile. Let's start with number three, Dinosuchus, the terrible crocodile. About 80 million years ago, it prowled coastal swamps and tidal rivers across North America. It could grow up to 35 feet long, weigh over eight tons, and deliver a bite so strong it could crush dinosaur bones. Fossils even show duck-billed dinosaur skeletons scarred with its bite marks. Dinosuchus didn't just wait for fish, it hunted dinner-sized dinosaurs. X. Travel to the ancient Amazon to meet Purosaurus brasiliensis. This true crocodilian ruled the rivers, lakes, and swamps of South America about 8 million years ago. It stretched over 40 feet, weighed nearly 8 tons, and had a bite force of 15,500 psi, twice that of a T-Rex. Its skull stretched nearly 5 feet, and it devoured everything from giant turtles to prehistoric whales, even other crocodilians. But the greatest of them all came long before. Number 1. Sarcosuchus Imperata, the legendary supercroc. This ancient crocodiliform lived 112 million years ago in what's now the Sahara Desert, back when it was a vast network of rivers and swamps. At 40 feet long and 8 tons, it wasn't a true crocodile, but one of their oldest ancestors. With over 100 teeth and a skull as long as a grown man, Sarcosuchus could launch from the water and drag dinosaurs to their doom. Its armored hide made it nearly unstoppable, a living tank built by evolution. If it existed today, it could rip a great white shark in half with one bite. These ancient reptiles weren't just crocodiles. They were prehistoric super predators, ruling Earth's waterways for over 100 million years. And while today's crocodiles are smaller, they're still perfect survivors. The last echoes of these ancient river monsters. Stay curious, stay adventurous, and as always, stay wild. Now tell me in the comments, who was the true king? And who do you think would win in a fight to the death?